Hey guys, Phil here, Machine Delusions, back with another quick video. And uh, today we have a, another foundational video model dropping. Uh, so today we're going to go over the new Hunyuan 1.5, 8.3 billion parameter video model. They have a couple variants. They have uh, image to video and text to video. And um, it's also distilled. This is uh, all in Comfy and... Comfy is going to have uh, more official documentation on the whole workflow, um, but I figured we'd go through the model and play with it today. We're going to be building the workflow, workflow from scratch. It's using a classic 16 channel bay. It's got a double text encoder, so it's actually using the Quen VL as well as this new Byte uh, like BYT5 um, text encoder. And uh, they've got some pretty cool advancements in here, but let's just like, dive right in into building this thing. So first thing we're going to need is a dual clip loader. We're going to need the Quen 2.5 VL. If you have Quen image or any Quen model, you'll have this. And then, and then we're going to need the Byte model. And don't worry, I'm going to have a models download thing here. I'll have the workflow and everything you guys need but we're just gonna go through and quickly build this. And then we're gonna do some text encoders and we're gonna need a case sampler. So let's just get a case sampler going here. We're gonna need a model shift, I believe. What was that? I can't remember what it was to be completely honest, but we need the Hanyuan video latent and we need the Hanyuan image to video conditioning. Latent, we need a VE, and the VE is gonna be a specific Hunyuan 1.5. Connect these, we're gonna need a start image, we're gonna load a picture, we need some clip vision and code, we need a clip vision loader, we're gonna use the patch 3384. Image is actually gonna go into load, no, resize image. And so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna set both the width and height to 768, and basically we're gonna make a bucket. And so what this means is like, we're gonna have a bucket resolution and then no matter the aspect ratio of our picture, the longest side could only be as long, as big as the bucket. And then if I zoom in here, we're gonna keep proportion as true. So that will not distort our picture. And then we're gonna clip encode it and we're gonna send it into the Hunyuan image to video. So we're actually gonna do something like this make all these blue, collapse these down because we don't really need them. Let me put this under here, something like this. Make this blue as well, make this green. I like to color code things, keep things really organized. Honestly, it just helps me. Working organized is a good habit because when you come back months later, and I promise you, you, are, you just want to at a glance be like, what? the hell did I do in this workflow? <laughs> so that's pretty much the idea here. Um, cool, so now we need a uh, load diffusion, where is it? Load, load diffusion model, aha, that's what I want. Hanyuan image to video. They also have a text to video variant. So this is a 720p CFG distilled model. So that's tight. Basically what that means is we don't have to use a CFG. So fixed seed, good old 42. We're actually gonna do, uh, we're gonna do four steps to start. One CFG, we're gonna do res 2S. If you don't have this, don't worry. Use something like LCM or Euler is fine too, just good old Euler. But if you have the Clown Shark case samplers, you'll get a Res 2S. There also is Res Multi-Step that also is in Core Comfy. And we're just gonna leave the schedule at, scheduler at simple. So we need to decode this. Yeah, what was I doing here? And we need a VHS combined. Uh, this video model was trained at 24 FPS. Gonna compile it down to an MP4. And that's basically it, guys. So let's see here. Let's try it out. So first, let's put in a picture. We got a whole whack of art here. Let's take this guy. I don't know, let's take this guy. Open that up. Oh, one thing we forgot to do was uh, the, we are controlling the width and height here. 
but then we want the, the resulting width and the resulting height to go up here and we can collapse that down now and this essentially becomes our frame length so we can be 49 frames for example frame length and resolution bucket long side cool tweets so let's just group this all up and see what happens so what should we get this thing to do let's do uh, first i'm just going to put blurry in here and then i'm going to do ghost character i don't know bursts into flames what are we missing oh string look at that we just want a basic integer do i have an integer into float and i need to add an integer to my node pack but so here's a basic integer i'm going to fix the seed just because I don't want the number to move. And then this will go, we'll take that and put it here. And then we'll copy this and take this one, put it here. 49 frames, get rid of these. So this is our frame count. This is our res bucket and run it. I'm kind of speed running here, guys. I just want to get through it and get to the actual fun part. Playing with the workflow. What do we got? We got a mat shape mismatch what's going on i see type sdxl we need this to be hunyuan 1.5 sorry guys what do we got here it runs pretty fast i have to say this is smaller than one so the video model is pretty fast now remember we are running at a 768 bucket so it's probably like a 768 by 512 res <laughs> but we get some pretty solid motion Let's bump up the frame count. Let's do 81. And this is four steps. So pretty good. Definitely faster than one. How many steps am I doing? 81 right now? Yeah, it's flying comparatively to one. Even at a 768 res, pretty low, but it still looks good. It still is holding the fidelity of my original picture pretty decently. Let's shrink this down a little bit. Let's change the prompt. Let's do ghost character opens. No, wait. Tiny, creepy ghosts fly out of the center of the character's cloak. I have to say that this model, since I've been playing with it in the past hour, it's pretty prompt adherence. Maybe it's because of this double text encoder, but it really does want to follow the prompt pretty decently. Look at this. You can already see. And the motion is solid. It's fast motion. It's not a slow-mo kind of thing. <laughs> so it's a little blurry. This is why I was recommending the res. I'm going to do res 2s, and we'll leave that on simple. I'm going to actually bump this up to six frames. We're going to run it again. Same seed. Nothing's changed. It's going to be slower. And so for people who don't know, what res 2s does is it hits the... Every diffusion step is essentially counted as two. So we're running six steps here, but in actuality, it's hitting it basically 12 times because I'm hitting it twice per step, technically. So res two, twice the steps, basically. However, if you notice here, all this smeary, textury blur, that really gets remedied here. And you know, like you can see immediately that these ghosts are more defined and whatnot but like, and i'm impressed the motion of this model is really good number one for being so small but also number two what i like to do when i test these video models is i give it abstract stuff right so all, all of my art is stuff that i can pretty much guarantee that this model has never seen before so let's see how this came out e-code always takes a minute yeah much better that's cool that's great. <laughs> I love it. And it would only be better if I ran it at a higher res as well. Let's switch up the image, see what's up. Let's do this one. No, let's do this one, this box thing. Be like uh, 3D rotation, 3D cube rotates and mechanically opens to show gears and pistons inside intricate clockwork and i feel like i want to run this one a little higher so let's do 960 bucket size so it's going to take a little longer but it should be higher fidelity so we're going to let that one cook and then we'll sign off here i already had this workflow put up over here 
I'm gonna grab the official notes of where the models go. And here you can see all of these links, they'll immediately start downloading when you click them and you get a breakdown of where in your comfy model folders they should go. But that's about it guys. After this renders, we'll shut it down, but I hope, hopefully this one works. This one's super abstract. And I don't know what, <laughs> I don't think it knows what to do with it. Judging by this preview, we're gonna let that go. It looks pretty sick. Let's see how this is doing. Oh, we're decoding. This looks great. I like this. Here we go. That's sick. <laughs> I'm impressed. For such an abstract prompt and an abstract image, it did quite well. So definitely play with this one, guys. It's pretty light on the VRAM. This will definitely run on a 24 gig card. It'll run on, excuse me, I'm tired here. It'll run on a lot lower VRAM cards as well. It might be a little bit slower, but it will be faster than, than one. And you know what? Maybe I can get away with using stage attention too. Let's give that a shot. I'm just gonna bump all the res down here just to see if this'll clock through. Let's see, did it patch it though? I don't think it patched the stage attention. Stage attention three, no module, no. I don't think it'll work with Hunyuan. But anyways, guys, that's the long and the short of it. I'm definitely gonna be playing with this one for the next at least a couple days, really get get a hang of this. Hopefully we get some control nets, hopefully we get some more like frame, last frame controls, some fine tunes. But appreciate you guys coming through and I will catch you guys in the next one.